Texas to Zach. We got Grumpy J. We got T Valkyrie. Brad P. Senior, how you doing? Let's see who else. We got Morgan. We got Brennan Wiley. Who else? Trevor Teen Pico. How's everybody doing today? T Valkyrie says, too bad I don't have more green in my wallet. Tell me about it, T Valkyrie. One day Grumpy J will be in a video showing off his Nexonite collection. Uh, I think Grumpy J has his own YouTube channel. There you go. Morgan's dropping the Daniel emojis. That's right. It's Daniel today on the store tour. Vanquish that pesky Darth Garth from last week. We're also working with the newer iPads, so the lighting should be better, as well as the stability. Brad P says, next, I'm thinking about doing that with my Millennium Falcon collection and post it on my YouTube channel. Very cool. What's good, Best Garmando OP? How you doing, man? Ooh! Yeah, I'm just going to do that for the whole live stream. Well, anybody, well, anyways, welcome everybody to today's Atlanta Brick Co. live stream. We're going to be doing a live tour of the store, so I'll be walking around throughout Atlanta Brick Co., the world's largest building brick toy store. So if there's anything at all you're looking for, Lego, I'm happy to wander around the store and see if we've got it for you. So just feel free to drop it in the comments. And then if you're interested in purchasing anything, our website and our phone number is down in the description. You can contact us one of those ways. In the meantime, let's see if anybody's got any initial requests. Otherwise, I'm just wandering aimlessly. There's our beautiful city with the train running. I'm going to be starting work on another building for the city very soon. I'm going to be starting work on a building for this spot right here. It'll be a nice little skinny one, a little 16 by 16. Fourth strongest employee says Darth Garth rules. Um, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know where you heard that. Grumpy J says, I can do a whole Lego room tour. Oh, Grumpy J says, yeah, that'd be awesome. I got an ad about how to pick an industrial lathe, like a wood-turning lathe, Malister. Corey wants to know any new trains. Let's take a look at trains, see if there's anything new. Depends on when the last time you were here was, Corey, or the last live stream you watched, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna say probably not, though. Trains don't turn over too fast. We also got a request from Grumpy for three-in-one creator sets. Yes, we can definitely head that way. Yeah. Best Garmando says, I'm so excited I might go this weekend and trade in a bunch of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Ask for Ed. Ed'll help you out. Nexus to Zach says, Is it true that Mark and Steven are on the Dude Perfect event cruise ship? Uh, that was true. They have now returned safely home, which is good. So they should be returning to work later this week. Morgan says, That cinema mock is great. Thank you, Morgan. I was very proud of that one. Marco Falworth wants to see the castle figs. All right, well, we're going to go look at creator three and one for Grumpy, and then Mark can wait his turn. <laughs> Will it be a blue coat admiralty? For what, Malister? Uh, let's see, can you show Batman section? Yes. We'll look for creator, then we'll look at castle figs for Mark, then we will look at Batman. Let's see what we got. Let's see a lot of classic sets and a lot more classic there let's see if there's any creator three in one around that's a little bit of a harder one to track down oh there's a good one a lot of people actually really like this set the pirate roller coaster got some fun stuff there especially if you're a pirates fan i bet malastair has this set all right i'll keep an eye out for creator three in one because that may be a little more spread out in the store but for now, we'll go look at Castle Figs, and then we will head towards Batman. Mark saying, just got back from that cruise nexus. It was insane. But was it perfect? Was it perfect, dude? Daniel, did Ed make it to Longwood with the delivery of Legos? I believe he did make it to Longwood. I haven't heard otherwise. Here's a lot of our great Castle Figs. I actually just added one today. We now have the Troll King with copper crown, as well as with the reddish brown crown. So if you're looking for a nice Troll King, we got a few good options for you there. Lots of dwarves, lots of Vikings. Jelly Bean Knights have gotten a little picked over. I may have to restock those. And here's all the nice old classic stuff. Plenty of Forestmen, Wolfpack, all the great stuff. Dragon Masters, very cool. Blue coats aren't as cool as red coats. Oh, Corey, don't start something that you don't want to finish. 
Oh man, I don't need a, I don't need any trash talk in the chat <laughs> from Alistair. Uh, are store credit trade-ins always double than cash? Yes, almost always, Beskar. Cash is almost always half of store credit. Hope to see all you crazy Lego fanatics next week at Atlanta BrickCon. Yes, I will definitely be there. Um, I'm pretty sure Mark and Steven are going to be there. And let's see, I think Michael is going to be there as well. So there will definitely be a handful of us. Some working for the store and uh, some just on our own. All right, we're looking at Batman. I'm not sure if you wanted minifigs or sets, but we'll kind of pan across the whole case. That's his city figure we need to make for the city. Oh, oh, for Malastare. Yes, I got you. Oh, Malastare, you don't have a, a minifig in the city? Maybe you just joined recently. Looks like Corey also might have joined recently. They have uh, red logos next to their names. Well, if so, welcome to our membership tiers, and we can definitely get your... Uh, minifigs in the city if there are specific parts you want us to use make up the minifigure and then make it up yourself if you have the parts or uh, find the parts on bricklink and send an email to our uh, info at atlbrick.com inbox if you've not done so already and then we can work on pulling those parts and getting your fig in the city as thanks for being part of our membership tiers uh, let's see, what else have I missed? It's pretty wild when the usual host of these live cast is on chat. Yeah, that's true. Mark gets to, gets to be on the keyboard side this week. Sam Williamson said, We came in Saturday. It was our first time at the store. We loved it. My daughter has got the Lego bug and is hooked on it. Everyone was super nice and super helpful. So thanks, guys. You're very welcome, th uh, Sam Williamson. And thank you for your kind words. We certainly appreciate that. If you like our store and you like these videos specifically, feel free to hit that like button if you have not done so already. That also helps out our YouTube channel tremendously so that more people can find out about our awesome store. Any 90s Legos there? Just jumped in, asks Lunatic Rider. Yes, we definitely have stuff from the 90s. I'll head back that way. Nexus to Zach is also excited about Atlanta Brick Con, as well as I. Brick Mom VA says, hey, Daniel. Hey, how you doing, Brick Mom VA? Redcoats being elevated to any prominence is just flat-out poppycock that is beneath the simple majesty of bluecoats. Yeah, that's that's the kind of trash talk I expected from Alistair. All right, let's take a look at some good old 90s stuff. This is the stuff that has my heart. Lunatic Rider is speaking my language. We got pirates. We got ice planet. I see islanders. There's some classic ninja in there. Got all sorts of underwater themes. No Citron though, sorry. Fresh out of Citron. There's some uh, Dragon Masters down there. Let's see what else we got that's 90s. There's a couple Fright Night sets. Very nice. Even older, there's a uh, Black Falcon's Fortress there. And let's see what else is up here. There's another great Fright Night set up there. That one's certified pre-owned. Let's take a look over here in the space case. My friends used to call me a space case in, in school. I don't see the resemblance, though. I don't think I look like this very much at all. <laughs> there's, a nice, uh, there's a nice Space Police 1 set. I actually traded that in, so if you're interested in Space Police or owning something from the former... Uh, it was formerly in Daniel's collection. You could get that one. So there's some nice Mtron, some nice Spirius. That's a great uh, Power Miner set. That one's not from the 90s, but I had that one when I was a kid. Let's see anything else from the 90s. There's some more underwater. That's Aqua Raiders 1. That's actually the closest wow. thing that resembled Seatron. Sorry, I got Seatron on the brain. I'm working on it for uh, Atlanta BrickCon coming up here soon. There's some other older stuff. Some of this is even older than the 90s. Some of this is like uh, 60s, 70s, and 80s even. All right, let's keep moving. Let me see what other chats there were now that I got a little behind. B -b 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 Grumpy Jay says he's saving his allowance for the Orlando Brickco grand opening. Probably not a bad idea. There should be a Redcoats versus Bluecoats event at the store. I th I'm thinking tank battles. I think a, a Redcoats versus Bluecoats tank battles. Is anyone going to be able to do a live stream from Atlanta BrickCon for those poor souls that can't make it? I'm sure we will do something, Morgan. Mark agrees. 
hopefully Mark would be able to uh, get something together or otherwise some of the rest of us could maybe at least do some video filming, if not live streaming. Lunatic Rider says, man, wish Atlanta BrickCon wasn't so far from me. Hope to see a live stream from there. Where do you live, uh, Lunatic Rider? There are, uh, there's Lego conventions all over the country. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba 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 -bum. <laughs> Grumpy Jay says, Morgan, just go to the con. Yeah, I think he lives a little further away than that. How much would you guys give for a pre-owned Harry Potter Hogwarts Great Hall with instructions and all minifigs? So we wouldn't do a quote over over a live stream like this or over the phone. What you want to do is go to atlbrick.com and then click on the tab for sell or trade. And then you can fill out our online selling and trading form with all the details of your item or upload pictures. And we'll be able to get back to you with a quote at least within a few days. Oh darn those six hour flights from East Coast and West Coast. Yeah, it's true. Is anyone attending the Brick Convention in the Orlando area considering you're opening a store in Longwood? Yes, we definitely will be attending that as well, Brad P. We will be down there in an official capacity with the store. I'm not sure I personally will be attending, but I'm sure there will be a few employees that might take that as an opportunity to go see our, our new setup down there. Uh, Malastair says, Mark, you better start doing some reverse grip curls to get in shape for the gimbal. Yeah, that's true. His uh, his gimbal muscles might have gone uh, might have gone weak since he's been on vacation. Clone Wars helmets looks really good. Yes, we'll definitely be talking about that on the morning brick on Wednesday, Josiah, for sure. Uh, that'll be at nine thirty a.m. here on our YouTube channel. That'll be another one of our live streams where we discuss all the leaks, news, and rumors from the week. Mark says, "Lost my voice talking to about a thousand kids on a big boat." Yes, we can't wait to hear all about it, Mark. Looks like, looks like you just my package. Glad it arrived. Oh, glad you got your package, D. Holden. I shopped at your booth at Brick Fair, Alabama in January 2020. Oh, here, I'll pan across all these sets we just got in while I read comments. Uh, I've been trying to make it to Atlanta so that I can visit the full store. Yeah, absolutely, Jaden. You should definitely try and come into our, uh, our storefront. It's truly an experience in person. I still remember the first time that I came in in person and no number of live streams or anything else could have prepared me for it. Uh, yes, Travertine, we are still doing the 20% off built sets sale. So anything you see here in the store that's pre-built is 20% off right now. And that's pretty good as far as our sales go. So definitely get it while it's hot because who knows when that sale will be ending. Any built modular buildings? Yes, we've gotten a lot of requests for that recently. So I think I know where they all are now. So let's take a look around. There is Assembly Square. That looks like it's got $289.99 on it. So $290. Uh, could you do the sealed Batman sets? Oh, yes, of course, Beskar. Here is the Brick Bank. That one is $599. Holy cow, that's an expensive one. So $600 for a built Brick Bank. That's crazy. There's also a custom one we got in. It's a custom casino. It's actually, it's got a really nice interior. We got that in last summer and we, uh, before we put it out, we looked all at the inside on one of the live streams. It's got some great features in there. Uh, let's see, 49 watching and 14 likes for shame, says Morgan. I agree, I agree. Hit that like button if you enjoy our content. It definitely helps us out. Uh-oh, Nexus to Zach is firing shots. Mark talks way too much. Let Steven do the talking and you just smile and nod. Oh, goodness. I don't know. I think they're both pretty good uh, public speakers. All right, let's see. I'm still looking for built modulars. There's another assembly square over there. We got the brick bank. We got... Oh, maybe one of them sold. I remember seeing another one over here somewhere. We got a lot of assembly squares in right now. Oh, there's a bookshop. Let's see how much is on that one. Let's see if I can read it from here. Looks like maybe $179.99. That seems awful cheap for that one. Maybe I'm not reading the price tag right quick, uh, quite right, but if you're interested in a bookshop, give us a call and we can get one of our employees up on the ladder to verify that price for you. Power Miner set is a great set indeed. Saw one going for over $1,000. Ooh, that, mu that must have been a sealed one, Lunatic Rider. That is a great set, though. Yes, the 90s Lego is my favorite. Thanks for sharing. Trying to add more to my childhood collection from the 90s. Yes, I'm definitely big into the 
late 80s and early 90s stuff, Lunatic Rider, so you're speaking my language for sure. All right, let's take a look at some sealed Batman sets. Do, 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 do. Glad to hear you're attending the Brick Convention. I've already bought my tickets for Saturday afternoon. Yeah, for the Orlando one. Yeah, that should definitely be fun. So like I said, I know the store will be there, but uh, I don't think I will personally be there. I'm sure I'm going to have to be working to do some catch up after taking off for Atlanta BrickCon. Malastair says, Daniel, do you have bulk droids or stormtroopers in the minifig case? Well, we definitely have bulk droids and stormtroopers for sale. They may not be in the case. They may be behind the counter. But you could definitely buy those on our website in, uh, in bulk. I think there's like five packs, ten packs, and maybe even twenty packs for, uh, for some of those more common figs. Mm -mm -mm. Lunatic Rider says, just hit that like button. Yes, please. Morgan said, that's a lot of DeLoreans. Yeah, for sure. We have a lot of DeLoreans now, as well as the office sets. I think we had a bunch of those in there. So some sets that we didn't see for a while, but I figured would trickle their way in eventually. We also have some botanicals in right now. That's something we get asked about a lot and usually don't have. So there's a few of the suc few copies of the succulent set. Is it going to be a YouTube channel for the Florida store? That is something that they may choose to do further down the line, but for now, we're pretty much going to continue to handle the uh, the YouTube stuff for sure. There's a Pyramid, a Thor's Hammer, larger Ghostbusters Ecto-1, a bunch of Optimus Prime. That's a hot seller right now for sure. Ba -ba -ba. Hit that like button. Make Daniel wear the Arctic Fowl hat if he still has it. Ooh, good question. I don't know if it's here. If we, hit, uh, if we hit 40 likes, I think that's Mark's current usual benchmark. I will look for either the hat or the infamous Nexo armor. And we'll maybe make that happen. All right, let's see. I'm still catching up here. Yeah, I have a Stranger Things set. No, not right now. That's a, that's a very hot one. Yes, Brick Virus, it is Daniel. How you doing? Is it just me or is the video blurry? It is. Is it really? Yeah. I don't know why. Hang on. Turn your volume down. Let me try my usual trick and see if it fixes it here. I got Joe's phone with me. Which one with me is it? I think if you go to the settings and then quality and then advanced. Oh, interesting. And then 720. See if that clears it up. It might just be about this iPad because it seems to happen whenever I do it. I got to give it a minute to catch up. Bear with us, folks. We're doing some troubleshooting. Well, now it's going to load, but it could be because you're on the, uh, could be because you're on the, iP on the same internet that I am. No, I'm well, not. anyway, I'm try on your stream. Try clicking the gear and then going to resolution, and then do advanced, so you can manually select a, a higher one like 720. Uh, let's see. What's your favorite DC slash Batman set? Ooh, probably the 60s Batcave. That is a that is a fantastic set from DC. Looking out for Mark and preserving his wonderful voice. Glad to hear it's not my old eyes. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, sealed Joker Lowrider. Let's head back over there and see if that's true. I yeah, think there was one in the hall is, video. We got a lot of good stuff in. And Did you see the I'm Joker British. Lowrider? You know, I don't remember. I probably saw. That should be an easy box to spot. It would be with all that purple on the front. Let us know where you saw it. Uh, let's see who was it that asked. Best car Mando. Let me know. Sealed. Let me know where you saw it. He did say sealed, but if it wasn't, I'd still be looking for the same box. It might have been. Uh, might have been somewhere else. I don't believe I'll see one. Seven twenty p changed twice and still not sharp here. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't know what you can There's do. nothing to do in the settings when you set up the stream for that, right? No. I have had that happen a couple times when I've done the live stream. Yeah. Uh, I will volunteer to do live videos from the Florida store on Wednesdays if Chris will have me. That could uh, could potentially be an option. Is that grumpy or Brad? We'll have to see. That's Brad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is it the lighting? It is the lighting that makes it blurry. Well, that could be. Let me try giving the uh, let me try giving the camera lens an old polish here. See if that makes a difference. We'll see if that's any better for you. Uh, Brickfire says, sweet, hey Daniel, how are you doing on this delightful day? I'm doing pretty good. I'm actually, I'm getting a lot done today. Being very productive. We're wrapping up some, some smaller projects and things that are just going around. 
Brad P says, no offense, Dana, but we haven't had this trouble since Justin shot videos here. Uh oh, oh man, I better get it together then. What book do you recommend that has all the sets from the 80s, 90s, and 2000s? I'm trying to find old sets I had when I was a kid, but have no idea what to look up. Pictures would help me out. The best thing I could recommend, I mean, Bricklink is kind of the ultimate source for uh, for those kinds of things with old sets and parts and pieces and things like that. But um, yeah, I'm not sure about books. There's there's a few books called like great Lego sets and things, but they're more of like a highlights thing than a, a complete guide. Um, for something like that, you might need like an ultimate collector's guide or something like that. Hi from the UK, great store. Thanks, Jason Entwistle. Thanks for your uh, kind words and for joining in. Uh, yes, Brick Set. Yeah, that's another good resource, Morgan pointed out. Second shelf from the floor on the right. All right, let's head back over to DC. I remember the first time watching the ABC live stream. You were doing it. Glad to have you back. Ah, oh, thanks, Josiah. Uh, all right, let's see. Second from the bottom on the right. I don't think I see a Joker lowrider here, unless I'm still not looking in the right spot. I remember seeing one in the hall, though, but I don't. I don't think it was sealed. I think it was open and maybe was getting certified pre-owned. But I'll keep an eye out for it for you. Uh, let's see. We might have some. I'm not sure if that's spam or not, but maybe Morgan can take care of it if it is. Uh, let's see. Luna Brick Sets has an excellent pictures and references that shows both the data production and the part count and quality pictures. Yes, I would agree with that for sure, Brad P. I think you need to focus the lens. I'm not sure there's anything I can do to do that. Hmm, I don't know. Ah, Daniel's thumb and sleeve to, <laughs> too close for comfort. Yeah, well, hopefully. All right, T Valkyrie across the top shelf. We'll head that way. No need to look up sets, just buy blue coats, says Malastare. Well, yeah, that's one option. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Brad P says, you're a great guy, Daniel. You know your Lego, and I don't mean... No, 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 no offense, Brad P. I know I have uh, trouble with Apple-oriented technology sometimes. I'm more of a uh, Windows and PC kind of guy, so I have trouble with the iPad sometimes. But hopefully it's still all right for y'all. Either my eyes are fooling me or I saw a built pineapple house. Yeah, I can head back that way, Brickfire, so we'll look at SpongeBob. So there's a nice older version of the Batmobile. There's the very first version of the Millennium Falcon. We've got the Technic motorized excavator, the Technic all terrain tow truck. Got a nice Dino Defense HQ there. Uh, there's an ATAT. -AT. I'm not sure if that's the motorized version or not. There's the First UCS Snowspeeder, the TIE Fighter Collection. That one's got uh, four TIE Fighters in it. There's those three plus the one that they made up. There's the Blockade Runner. Very nice, very expensive. Also the older version of that set. There's the Y-Wing. The Atari's up there as well. There's a nice collector set there that's got the uh, Droid TIE Fighter. And then, let's see, what is that other one? Is that a... Is that a V19 torrent? No, I'm not sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a fool of myself trying to guess the names of Star Wars ships. There's the Queen Anne's Revenge. Got Comp Nou, the Barcelona Stadium, as well as Sealed Cafe Corner. Very nice. Got some chess sets over there as well as some pirates and adventurers. And then lots of other smaller gift with purchases, promo sets, and some other smaller box items there. Some nice castle sets. There's some fantasy era in there as well as some older stuff. We've got a Back to the Future DeLorean from Ideas certified pre-owned. A Build-A-Bob, Mark's favorite Bionicle, Gadunka. Nice adventure set. Santa Fe train car. That that actually might be new if Corey is still watching. We've got the uh, Time Twister set that has the large plastic piece that usually gets thrown away. So some cool odds and ends. And then on the middle shelf here, we've got some stuff that's still been around. We've got some monorail accessory track packs. A lot of Winter Village sets. You get over here to this side. There's some nice Winter Village sets. A lot of the older ones. So if you need to fill in any gaps in your Winter Village house collection, you might be able to do that. 
we've got the newer of the Maersk line Triple E container ships, as well as the Vestas Wind Turbine. Very nice. All right, let's see what else people are asking for. Lego City Sets asks Connor Hoffman. All right, let's head that way. Okay, Chief said, cleaning the lens upgraded the quality to laser disc. Oh no, not laser disc. Uh, oh, we're also gonna look for Pineapple House for brick fires. Yes. I'm assuming that was over towards the SpongeBob case, but if you saw it somewhere else, let me know in the comments. Uh, and then we'll head back for later. Yep, there you go. There's the built SpongeBob house. And the price on that is $59.99. So pretty affordable for a nice SpongeBob house. Looks like it's got lots, all the little side accessories. There's TV, there's Gary, SpongeBob's bed, a boat mobile that he doesn't have a license to drive. It's very nice. All right, we'll go look at City. Oh, ARC 170, thank you. I always get those two mixed up. ARC 170 and the V19. Yep, ARC 170 is the one with the six wings. All right, let's see. Uh, Morgan says he uses Brickset also for keeping track of his collection. Yeah, I need to. I need to get into doing that as well. Actually, tracking what I, what I own. That's probably a good idea for insurance purposes. <laughs> All right, we'll take a look over here at some city sets. While I catch up on comments, is that the gingerbread house? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember seeing the gingerbread house, Nexus. If you remember where you saw it, though, I can head back that way. Mm -hmm. Do you have Thor's hammer tweaked just a bit to be your personal Lego band hammer? There you go. That would be good. Get a Thor's hammer and then get a, a custom sticker for the side of it that says ABC band hammer or something. We are pretty stuffed to the gills here with city sets, so most of them are unfortunately turned sideways, so it's harder to see the pictures, but maybe you can get an idea of what's here. Or if there's a specific one you're looking for, you can always look it up on our website and order it and see, see if we have it in stock and then order it that way. And then we'll come out here and hunt through the jungle for it. Uh, let's see. Do you buy used built sets or do you have people in store build them? We do buy uh, all of these sets that are pre-built here come to us that way. We don't build, we don't spend the time to build anything in the store. Any built pirate ships and how much is Queen Anne's Revenge? Yes. Yes, we definitely have built pirate ships and I can look at the Queen Anne's Revenge for you as well. Let's see. There is a Black Seas Barracuda up there. Very nice. I don't, I don't think I see any minifigs with that one, but it does at least have the sails. And that one is, gosh, I'm trying to read the tag. I think it says $449.99. So I think $450 for one with the sails in what looks like pretty good shape, but I don't think I see any minifigures. Uh, there's a newer one. I think that one says 249. There's another Black Seas Barracuda with minifigs but without sales. I'm not sure why we didn't combine those. That one says 249. That seems like a really good deal. If you don't if you don't need the sales or you have another way of getting those. Let's keep looking around for pirate ships and then Queen Anne's Revenge we want to price. Uh ooh, Beskar says I think the lower right is third shelf from the floor. Alright, since I'm only since I'm standing right here next to it. Ah, there it is. The Notorious Joker Lowrider, new-ish. So that means that uh, most of the bags inside are sealed, but there may be the first, the first few bags have been gone through and inventoried like we do with our certified pre-owned sets. So there's a couple bags that have been inventoried, but most of the bags inside are sealed. So there you go. That one should be on our website listed as newish, And that is $89.99. Sorry I missed that for you earlier. The, uh, the part of the box that had the picture on that one was torn off. That's why I missed it. All right, let's go get a price on Queen Anne's Revenge and see if there's any other built pirate ships. I see one up here. There's a nice black pearl up there. See if I can get a price on that for you. $349. So $350 for black pearl. And as a reminder, these are all 20% off. There's another one of the brick bounty. I think that one says $249.99. And then let's see. So the Queen Anne's Revenge is certified pre-owned. Vogan, can you give me a price on Queen Anne's Revenge there? Let's see. It's pre-owned and it is seven fifty. Seven fifty for a pre-owned Queen Anne's Revenge. Very expensive ship, but certified pre-owned is essentially like new condition. It's just been gone through, and we've inventoried all the parts, 
all the minifigs, made sure everything is there, including the box and instructions, and it's good to go. That's as close to a new set as you can get. Without being new, of course. Uh, let's see. Hello from Amarillo, Texas, Raymond. Do we still have the SpongeBob house? Yes, I think I just covered that. We had a, a built one without the minifigs for, what was it? It's either 60 or 80, I think. I'll show that off again real quick. 60 bucks for a used SpongeBob house and 20% off of that. No minifigs. I have a feeling Ed will be making a lot of trips to Florida in the next month. Yes, definitely. And always towing a trailer or a van load of stuff with him for sure. I'm surprised it's overstocked as you are in city sets that Ed didn't pack up half of those to take to, to take to Longwood. We've been sending a lot of stuff down there for sure, and we're still very stuffed with Lego here, which is not a bad problem to have, but it can be a little overwhelming sometimes. We are coming down from Southwest Idaho for the Brick Convention. Gonna have to visit the store as well. Yeah, definitely stop in, Michael. We're looking forward to seeing ya. And Atlanta Brick Co should, or Atlanta Brick Con should definitely be a fun convention. All right, I think I covered all that. I think I covered all that. If I missed any requests or comments or anything, feel free to let me know. I apologize if I missed your uh, missed your request. Don't take it personally. Uh, but yeah, feel free to drop it again, and I'll do my best to help you out. A built creator pirate ship. Is that the three-in-one, D. Holden? I'll have to take a look around for that one, but I don't think I've seen one recently. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. I was wrong. There it is. There is the Creator 3-in-1 Pirate Ship. And that is $99.99. So $100. 20% off of that would be $80. For $80, you can get a built Creator Pirate Ship. And it looks like it has at least some of the minifigs, if not all of them. So there's very nice. I'm surprised they have Wendy's in Europe. I don't know. I guess I don't think I'm surprised. A lot of those fast food chains are pretty much everywhere now. Hello, ABC crew, says Raymond. How you doing, Raymond? What's the weather like in Amarillo, Texas today? Uh, let's see. How much is the Lego City Heavy Lifter Volcano Helicopter? Yes, the lime green one. Let me head that way. Were you looking for it in the box or uh, built, pre-built? I keep volunteering to help them with Longwood Store. I'm only 45 minutes and $3 in tolls away. There you go. Do you guys have a sealed tumbler from 2021 from the Dark Knight? Is that, are you talking about the very large tumbler? Or one of the, uh, one of the smaller ones? Let's see, I'm not seeing any of those volcano, oh wait, wait, there it is. There's a built version of the Volcano Rescue helicopter there from City, And that is $29.99 for a pre-built one. I'm not sure if we have any in the box, but I can look while I catch up on comments. Oh wait, there's one. Oh, that's a different helicopter. That's an even bigger one. And that one is $249.99 there. That's the one that comes with the big volcano and all of these other little side builds as well. You get some extra vehicles, a little mining base for cracking open these lava rocks. So there you go. Yes, $249.99 on that one. And that should be on our website. So you could type in set uh, 60125 if you want to find it pretty easy. All right, 32 degrees in Amarillo, Texas. That's really cold. It's not. It's a. It's a nice day here in Georgia. That's crazy cold. How much? Let's see. I got that one. Got that one. I don't think we have any of the the tumbler, but I can head up front and ask. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. They don't, but I know people who are from there, and it's not pretty good. Do you guys wash the certified pre-owned sets or pieces? We pretty much only certify ones that are clean and in, and in good shape. So we there won't be any, you know, dusty or or stained or discolored pieces or anything in the certified pre-owned sets. So everything in there should be in like new condition. And if you ever do get a certified pre-owned set and something is not to your satisfaction, you can uh, you can write to us and we'll we'll take care of that for you. We will replace it. Uh, let's see. Any Indiana Jones? I just rewatched them. Indiana Jones is always hot here. So I'm going to say probably not a lot if we do have any. Here's a couple. There's the one from Crystal Skull, sort of the amphibious car there for $79.99 certified. And then there's the, um, gosh, I forget the name of that set. I don't know, but it's after they, after they escape the club and they go on the car chase and Short Round is driving with the blocks strapped to his feet so some uh 
some good good sets there in certified pre-owned shape. All right, let's see what else with the black UCS box. Yeah, for the tumbler. All right, let me head up front. That's where it would be if we had it. Do, do, do. 32 in Nampa, Idaho. Yeah, see, in Idaho, that makes more sense than in Amarillo, Texas. Uh, Nexus asks, Brad P. Grumpy J, have either of you passed by the new store yet? Yeah, so there's not too much to see right now unless you want to stop in at the brewery next door. But uh, if you have any Lego you want to trade in, we are taking trade-ins. It's just by appointment only, so you got to set it up with us for now as we're not open yet. Um, I'm not seeing any of the tumblers right now. Let me check with Vogan when he finishes helping a customer just to verify. <laughs> I'm trying my best to drive up there this week just to check out the location. Yeah, I've heard it's a nice area. I haven't even been there myself. But I've heard the, uh, the brewery, brewery next door is pretty nice. Uh, any snow on the ground in Idaho? Good question. Making his battle plan for opening day. Yeah, you got to go into it with a plan for sure. Uh, it's on Ronald Reagan Parkway or Avenue, something like that. Yeah, all I know is it's in Longwood, and it's next to, um, oh gosh, I can't even remember the name of the brewery. Man, I'm really not doing a very good job repping the new store. I will, uh, I hope somebody will drop it in the chat. That's the easiest way that I know to find it, because I haven't memorized the address yet. I think I saw a custom Joker minifigure on your website with a purple trench coat and knife. Is that still in stock? Let's head over there towards our custom minifigs. Yes, Daniel, I will contact Chris the day I decide to go out there because I have a couple of sets I want to get store credit. Yeah, absolutely. You can use our normal uh, selling and trading form, and you just want to uh, denote that the uh, that you'd be doing the Orlando store and not here, and then we can get a, a time set up for you to meet with somebody down there. All right, let's see. Here's a custom joker here. He doesn't really have a trench coat. Oh, there he is. Yep, there's the Joker for $29.99 with the trench coat and the knife. Very nice Dark Knight version there, very cool. Looks like he's got, what's in his other hand? A grenade, I think. Very cool. And all sorts of other DC custom figures there, as well as custom figures from about anything else you can imagine. Star Trek, Marvel, Star Wars. I see a lot of scary movie characters. Let's see, what else? All sorts of things there. Doctor Who, music icons. Those are all on our website. You can peruse our custom figs on there. Uh, Hourglass. Thank you, Grumpy J. Yes, Hourglass Brewing. If you if you search Hourglass Brewing in, in Longwood near Orlando, that'll <laughs> that's the easiest way I know of to find the, the address. Envious all you cold weather folks. It's 72 and partly sunny in Florida, and that's considered gold. Oh, envious of the cold weather? Why are you envious of the cold weather, Brad P? I wish it was 72. It's not quite that nice here today. All right, I think I'm caught. Shanghai Chase. Yep, thank you, Josiah. I knew I knew it was something, Chase. I just couldn't remember what the name of the, the city or town was. Uh, let's see. Any other requests, feel free to drop them in the chat. Now that I'm caught up, if you had put in a request and I missed it, feel free to drop it again. Otherwise, I will be happy to stroll around and answer your questions and we'll see if we can get to 40 likes today then i might go and put on some beskar armor or maybe even the arctic fowl top hat much to my chagrin let's see perfect thanks to beskar mando you're very welcome beskar mando happy to help let's see what else we got cool going on in the city we've got some new figs here there's ad az daves and his son, Will, there in the city there as well. Those were some new additions. Uh, this one here, I, th I believe this was Josiah. He can correct me if I'm wrong. I think I put that one together. There's Grumpy Jay with his Oscar the Grouch head. Let's see who else. We got Brick Mom and Brick Dad VA. There's Daniel and Nexus. I need to, oh man, I need to come back and do something funny with that. Mark has gone missing. Mark is no longer with his adoring fans. Mark is being chased by a shark off the roof of <laughs> off the roof of one of the Wizard of Oz buildings. There's Morgan down there in front of his favorite Wizard of Oz building. So always making some updates to the city. If you're one of our members and you haven't gotten your minifig in the city yet, send us an email with the parts you want to use. We had some folks talking about that earlier. I think uh, 
Corey and Malastare maybe still need to get some figs in the city, so feel free to let us know by any contact method what you'd like to get in there. Johnny Flounder says, got my tickets to the Orlando show. Yes, so hopefully if Atlanta BrickCon goes well, then uh, Orlando Brick Con will also be growing as a convention down here in the in the southeast, since there aren't a lot going on right now. Uh, Angie is not in, Raymond. No, sorry about that. I'm on the corner with a pretzel, says Brisklor. Oh, let's go find Bricklore. Josiah says, yeah, you got me. Yay. You're very welcome, Josiah. We finally got caught up on, on most of those. Let's see. On the corner with the pretzel. Oh, yep, there's Bricklore. There's Bricklore chilling out on the corner. Hopefully we'll get some buildings in there behind you very soon, Bricklore. I know, uh, I think Mark is going to be tackling the rest of the buildings on this corner, and I'm going to be filling in this slot here next to my theater and next to his coffee shop. So we'll be hopefully getting that filled in here during the quieter months. Uh, R. Claxton has just joined ABC Superfans. Welcome, R. Claxton. Now, if you're interested in getting your uh, minifig in the city, you can send us an email, and we'll make sure we get that taken care of for you, hopefully by next live stream. Uh, now, how did that happen, says Nexus. I don't know. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Johnny Flander says, I'm going in the morning. Maybe I'll see you on the way out. There you go. Mark chose to go on a cruise instead of creating my figure. Well, if you send it to the, uh, if you send it to the info box, I can get it as well, Malastare. Nexus, insert evil laugh. Isn't that Grumpy's line? I'm to the left behind Daniel. Yes, that's right, Gary. You're in there as well. Way to go, R. Claxton. Welcome aboard, says Brad P. That's right. Now you're a true super fan. Any other requests today for the live stream? We're only about 41 minutes in. We got about 20 minutes left. So if there's anything else you're looking for Lego related, I can do my best to help you find it here in our store. If you can't find it on our website, and then we'd be happy to help you get set up to make a purchase and get you all that good Lego that you're looking for. No, no, Daniel, it's personal now. Okay, all right, I'll I'll leave your I'll leave your beef with uh, with Mark well alone. I'm not gonna get in the middle of that. Can you scroll up a bit in chat? I have a long message. Says, let's see who said that. That was Beskar Mando. All right, let's look for. Are you guys more inclined to give people a lot of money in store credit or cash? I have a huge collection of City and Harry Potter sets. Uh, yes, so definitely store credit is the way to go if you want the most to get the most out of it so if you if you trade in we'll give you a fair value in store credit and uh, uh if you want to take cash cash is almost always about half of that so if you wanted and you know we do we do uh paypal or or venmo or cash app or check or any of those but those are all going to be half of what you could get in store credit so if there's other lego you want to get and we've sure got no shortage of lego here store credit is definitely the way to go uh, but yes, if you want to get a quote on what you might get for that without having to drag it all into the store, you can go on our website, atlbrick.com, go to the tab for sell or trade, and fill out our online WooFoo trading form. And you can get a, you can attach pictures and descriptions there, and then, uh, we'll get back to you with a quote. 42 watching, 30 likes. Yeah, we're getting up there. I see, I see 31 now, so hit that like button for sure if you're enjoying, uh, if you're enjoying our content or just want to support our store, we certainly appreciate that. And when we get to 40, I'll make a fool out of myself. So if you like seeing Daniel make a fool out of himself, <laughs> hit that like button. Art Claxton dropping all those great emojis now that he's part of our... Uh, now that they're part of our membership tier, you get access to all those great emojis. I see the Mark emoji, the Nexo Knights emoji, and throwing the Black Falcons one in there for good measure. Very nice. I would never take those lines, only insert evil laugh. Yeah, I think that I think insert evil laugh is Grumpy's line though. I think that's kind of his whole shtick. Do you guys have any Arkham Asylums? Asks Beskar. Let's take a look. If we did, it would probably be one of the newer ones, not the older ones. Let's see. Batcave, Batcave, Batcave. It would definitely be one of the bigger boxes. Batcave, Batcave, Batcave. Not seeing anything in the box. Let's see if we've got anything built. Bad cave, bad cave, bad cave. Man, if they made as many Arkham Asylums as they did bad caves, I would I would love that. I've always loved the architecture styles that they go with for Arkham Asylums. That awesome kind of gothic 
Gothic architectural style. I guess that makes sense. That's why they call it Gotham. All right, there may be one more place we have one. I know we did a few months ago. I'm not sure if it's still there, so I'll try and go take a look. See if we've got any Arkham Asylum for you. Zoop. Oh, yeah, here you go. This is a nice new banner we just got in the mail the other day for Orlando Brick Co. So there's our new logo if you haven't seen it. Nice. So the there's the Atlanta Brick Co. logo, which is the circle. And then United Brick Co. is pretty much the same with the circle. But Orlando Brick Co.'s dedicated logo is now the uh, hexagonal kind of one. Which What, what is that in, in Star Wars? That's the First Order one? Yeah. Okay. I'm not seeing the uh, Arkham Asylum that had been there, so I'm going to say we are fresh out of Arkham Asylums, which is unfortunate, because those are always great sets. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Any built Lone Ranger? Yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a look for the Lone Ranger. There were some good sets in there. I, I didn't care, care for the movie very much, but there were a handful of good Lone Ranger sets. I got the one that was like the... Uh, the mine shaft kind of thing. I always like mine shafts. I had the dwarves mine when I was growing up from the fantasy era castle, and then I had to get that one from Lone Ranger. I just always like mine shafts. I don't know why. They make for good, good Lego sets. I'm not seeing any Lone Ranger though. I see Prince of Persia. So maybe one other place I can take a look. I hope the trophy is still there when we come to visit in a few weeks. Oh, I'm sure it will be. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. Unless Mark decides to kidnap it to take it back to his home. Although I guess it's not kidnapping if you own it. <laughs> now, I'm sure it'll be here a while longer. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing any Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger and Western stuff seems to be very hot lately. We did have a few of the Toy Story kind of um, Western, like, sheriff's offices and things like that. So if you're really desperate for Western, I can show you the Toy Story stuff. Here's a cool set, too. I, I didn't see this. Here's a nice Exoforce set. That's sealed. The box is worse for wear, for sure, but that's still brand new sealed Exoforce, which you really don't see every day. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Recovered Lone Ranger... I have found crispy, very, I found crispy, very gentle. Oh, I'm not, that must be it. Oh, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> I was trying to parse that. I have found Chris very generous when getting store credit. And as you can see by this live broadcast, I've got plenty of sets to acquire with those store credits. Oh, yeah, it's, it's real easy to burn through store credit here. Even if you don't want to take something big home with you, even if you've, you know, flown or something and you have uh, limited capacity to take things home with you, there are definitely some smaller, more expensive things that you could spend your store credit on. We'll head over to that case real quick. Uh, sorry, keep spell checking your name. <laughs> no worries, Brad. I just had a little trouble, uh, trouble deciphering that. Here's our case of good small items if you've got some store credit that's eating a hole in your pocket. We've got two Cloud City Boba Fett's in right now. There's Toy Fair Captain America. No shield, unfortunately. Original Django Fett. There's a prototype transparent blue Vader, some misprint 501st, Cloud City Lando. Oh, man. Look at all this goodness. Store opening exclusive minifigs. Very nice. Stuff you just don't see every day. For sure. And certainly not all in one place. Lots of good superheroes, poly bags. Even got a couple, uh, let's see, there's one Comic Con. Fig. Got the Bizarro. That's a very nice early one there. Some Blue Milk Luke. The Lego Retail Managers Conference. Zach the Lego Maniac minifig. Very cool stuff you don't see very often. So there's no problem spending store credit if you get it that way. And you definitely get the better end of the deal that way than if you take the cash. Let's see. I will never get any Pharaoh's Quest from ABC. So sad. Probably because Jacob buys them all. Yeah, I think Jacob is a, is a Pharaoh's Quest fan. But we can head that way just to take a quick peek in case anything's cropped up. I know we did get some Pharaoh's Quest in the hall this week, but I think it might have just been minifigs. So it may be a while before they make their way out, but if you're looking for one of those specifically, you can give us a call and we can try and track it down and sell it to you. I know we got the uh, the mummy with the wings. I know we got the the uh, head mummy. What was he called in that one? Amset Ra, I think, maybe? Um, we also had some of the Anubis guards. So if you're looking for any of those minifigs, we do have them right now. 
If you think about it, kidnap is a strange word. Don't, don't most kids take naps? That's true. Kids do nap. Yeah, I'm not sure what the root root word of that expression would be. Kidnap. Interesting. How much is the built carousel creator expert? Yes, we will head that way. That was for Brennan Wiley. Andy, uh, yes, Brennan Wiley asked that one. And then D. Holden asked, what built modulars do you have? We did cover that earlier, but I can tell you we have the assembly square, the bookshop, and the brick bank, I think is all that I've seen right now for built modulars. But they are all 20% off, as is the case with uh, with all of our built sets right now. Where did I see that carousel? I thought it was up here. <laughs> Joe, don't you have the built carousel right now? Yeah, I know I saw it somewhere. Here, let me, let me look around and see if I can track down that carousel for you. Or you can let me know where you saw it there, uh, Brennan. I uh, covered built modulars. I think there's a company that sells mats for kids named <laughs> Kidnappers. Could be. Yeah, I know I saw a built carousel recently. I can't remember where I saw it. Is it going to be a grand opening sig fig to buy at the new store? We're, we're still thinking about doing something special for the grand opening, but stay tuned for that. We haven't quite nailed down what it's going to be yet, but I'm sure there will be some kind of special, special thing going on that day. Isn't there a crackdown from Lego about printing logos on minifigures? Yes, that's true. Printing, uh, printing third-party logos and, and copyrighted material on, on minifigs is now going to be a no-no. BJ says only if you get caught, though. Yeah, well, you don't want to get caught by Lego. They've got nothing better to do but send their lawyers after you. Uh, maybe a trading card. That's that's another good option. D. Valkyrie showing some love for Pharaoh's Quest. Yes, Nexus. I'm set raw. Yeah, okay. I was pretty sure that's what it was. Bricklore says, gotta go. Great tour, Daniel. Thank you very much, Bricklore. And have a great rest of your day. Thanks for coming. Uh, let's see. Do you guys have any sealed city police prisoner transports? Yes, let's head back over that way towards city. Man, that, that carousel is gonna beat me up if I can't think about it. Unless you meant, unless you meant the Ferris wheel. We've got the Ferris wheel on the front counter. But I am pretty sure I remember seeing the carousel as, where, as well somewhere recently. All right, let's see. We're looking for the police, city police prisoner transport. Let's see. Like I said earlier, it's a little hard to see some of our city sets, but I'll do my best to see if there's anything. If you've got a set number, I can look that way as well. Or you could type it in on our website on atlbrick.com. Just type in the set number, and then that would, that would tell you real quick if we've got it. Prisoner transport. <laughs> Don't see anything at first glance. What is this one here? Nope, that one's like a mobile police HQ. We've got a lot of these kind of mobile police trucks. I'm not sure about prison transports. Yeah, I'd say go on our website. If, if there's a specific set you're looking for, type the, uh, type the set number in on our website. Oh! What you doing there? What you, what you, causing a ruckus? Ooh! Ah, okay. uh, that's right. not it. That's not nope, it. Nope, you missed it. Clean up, clean up your mess. Yeah. You well, made a mess on the ground. It's just video, actually, so. Five oh, video. just video? Okay. <laughs> How do you set up an appointment for trading? Yeah, so if you want to do it in our Atlanta storefront here, you can just come in anytime. But for our new store that's opening in Orlando, we haven't opened yet, but we are taking trade-ins. So if you want to trade something in the Orlando area, you can go on our same online selling and trading form. And uh, you can tell us all about the items that you've got and everything else. And then just denote on that form that you're looking to trade in at the uh, Orlando location. And then we can get set up with an appointment for you to meet you there. We just got to make sure we have the right staff on hand and that they can, uh, you know, unlock the doors and let you in since the storefront isn't actually open yet. Uh, Brandon Wiley says, up high on end cap of shelf. For the, uh, for the carousel? Up high on end cap of shelf. All right, I'm not sure where, so I'll do a quick lap of the store. Looking at the end caps up high. Oh, no, he was talking about the... Let's see. Oh, Nexus to Zach is heading out. See you later, Nexus. Thanks for coming. 
Give me one second. I think he was talking about the city police prisoner transport. It's like the car one with the jail door on the back. Oh no, yeah, sorry, that was that was Beskar who's asking that. Brennan Wiley was the one who was asking about the built carousel. All right, I'll have to try and track down the carousel. I'm not sure I see the prisoner transport, but like I said, uh, definitely try on our website. Carousel on an end cap. Oh, there you go. Morgan found it. Police prisoner transport six zero two seven six thirty dollars for sealed copy. So we've got it there somewhere. We can send our employees out to to find it if you want to place an order for that one. All right, let me let me get reoriented here on comments. Brad P says, "How are you handling the new store name? Considering United Brick is already taken on the web, is it? If it's taken, I think it should be taken by us. Or I'm, maybe there's an acronym for it. Maybe it's UTD Brick or something. I don't know." Um, but no, I, I like the new name for the store. I think it makes sense. United Brick Co. is really just going to be the kind of parent company name. We'll still be Orlando Brick Co. Think about it like how uh, Facebook's, Facebook's parent company changed their name to Meta. Nobody, I mean, people don't talk about Meta very often. You still talk about Facebook. So we're still Atlanta Brick Co. They'll still be Orlando Brick Co. And United Brick Co. will just be what's printed on things that are for both stores. Up high, oh, by friends. Okay, all right, all right. Let's head over towards friends. Up high, by friends, looking for the carousel. Up high, by friends. There's the Coliseum. Oh, wait, was that what you asked? Did I, did I misread that as carousel? No, built carousel creator expert. Let's see. I do feel like I saw the carousel somewhere. I don't know. I'll have to keep an eye out for it. Let's see. Okay. Compliment. Grand opening. Police prisoner transports. We covered that. We'll see people on the morning break. Yeah, that, oh, that's right. Morning break is tomorrow morning. That's right. So we'll see you tomorrow morning here at 9.30 a.m. for uh, for the morning break. Johnny Flanders says, not the video set. No. Nexus is sad that we couldn't make Daniel wear the hat of the armor. Well, you got you got three more minutes to get six more likes, and I can put it on real quick. Ninjago sets from 2016. Yeah, we can go take a look at that carrot killer. Okay, thanks. So we got that. See you later, Corey. Thanks for coming. And there was Morgan sending the link for the police one. Malastare's off to prep dinner. Have a good one. All great tour, Daniel. Thanks, Malastare. Thanks for coming. Meta break go. There you go, Morgan. That would have been good. All right, let's see. So there's Built Ninjago. Here is Ninjago in the box. We don't really have them categorized by year, but I'll do a slow pan across these. And Ninjago movie would be here as well. Ever gotten a duel on Naboo? I haven't and have never seen it in the store. That's the one with um, Darth Maul and Qui-Gon and Obi. Yeah, I'm sure we've gotten it before. I don't know if we have it right now. I know we've gotten them in built several times. I'm not sure if we had it in the box, though. That one's not that rare of a set, though. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what year it was from, but... Uh, not, a, not a terribly rare one. Still got about another minute left, it looks like. So if there's any last minute requests, I can do my best to fill those in the remaining time. Otherwise, there's most of the Ninjago sets there. Do, do, do. I think I got all the other pending requests. Any Naboo Starfighters sealed? Yeah, let's head over towards Star Wars. I don't, I'm not sure we covered much Star Wars today. So let's head over there and see what we got as we round out the stream. Looking for Nabu Starfighters Sealed. That should be an easy one to spot. It's one of the very few yellow ships in Star Wars. There's a nice UCS Landspeeder. Got a couple copies of that one. It's a Darth Vader helmet, Moff Gideon's light cruiser, large Yoda. Got some Mandalorian sets if you want to get your hands on those before season three comes out. 
This Armorer's Forge, I know, is going to go up with the Armorer figure and the Paz Vizsla. That's one you want to get your hands on. There's the Duel on Mandalore. We've got the Lars Homestead Kitchen. We've got a bunch of those. That's a nice one. Let's see. What is that? I think that's the trench run there. Very nice. Not seen any sealed Naboo Starfighters, but I bet you we've got some built ones. Some of the more new diorama collections. There's the Trash Compactor as well as the Yoda's Hut. There's BD-1 down there, another one of the, uh, oh sorry, Dagobah Dr Jedi Training was the name of that one for the diorama. We got Grogu there, another BD-1, got a lot of the helmets. That's the Luke Skywalker Red 5 helmet. And let's turn around here and see what's in the case. As we round it out, we've now passed 60 minutes, but we'll finish up here with Star Wars to round out the stream. And as we close it out, I want to say thank you again all for tuning in. If there's anything that you saw today that you're interested in purchasing, you can head on over to atlbrick.com and you can chat with us there by using the chat feature down in the corner. Otherwise, you can give us a call using the phone number that's in the description. But it's 470-414-2208 and we'll get you helped out. You're very welcome, Best Garmando. Thanks for tuning in if you haven't ever joined us before. I'm not sure I recognize your name, but I haven't done a, a store tour in a while. So if you're new, welcome to the chat. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Brad P says, oh, four o'clock. Thanks for a great cast, Daniel. Keep up the good work. Yeah, thanks for coming, Brad P. We're looking forward to seeing you down, more often down there in Florida. You are very welcome, Morgan and Josiah. This has been Daniel Beskar Mando. As always, stay grumpy, everyone. Thanks for coming, Grumpy J. Thanks for coming, Morgan, for doing our moderation as well as our fact-checking, finding listings on the website and things. We certainly appreciate that. We may have to start paying you soon, Morgan. Hopefully you've gotten some nice uh, some nice bonus stuff from us. Oh, Daniel, okay, yeah. That's me, Beskar. Thanks for joining, everybody, and I think we'll close it out today. So enjoy the rest of your week. We'll see you on the Morning Brick tomorrow here on Atlanta Brick Co. TV at 9.30 in the morning. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you back again here on Friday for another store tour. It might be Mark by then. Hopefully, he'll be in by Friday. So thanks for coming, everybody, and we'll see you later.